On weekdays in the Adelaide CBD, it can be very difficult to find a place to park, causing people to drive around searching for a place to park and wasting time, which can be very difficult when you're in a hurry. It's possible to find parking in large parking complexes, but this is sometimes far away from where you need to be or too expensive to be a viable option for everyone. Nevertheless, for many people working and studying in the city, being able to drive in and find a place to park is a necessity. Hi, can I ask you a few questions about the convenience of finding a parking space in the city centre? Yeah, for sure. Okay, so how often do you come and park in the city? Oh, not very often, probably like once every two months, I suppose. So at the moment, do you find it easy or difficult to find a parking space in the city? Yeah, no, nah, not really. Yeah, it's pretty hard. The Adelaide City Council has begun work on smart parking technology and has budgeted almost $3 million to develop an app and install sensors under almost 2,300 on-street car parks throughout the city. These sensors will be able to detect when vehicles enter and exit the parking spaces and measure how long they remain, along with vacancy rates and turnover. I'm Lisa Loveday and I'm the Manager of City Services with the City of Adelaide. So on street parking is an area that I look after and we're really excited about the smart technology that will be coming very soon. So could you briefly tell us about Adelaide Smart Parking? Yes, certainly. So um, smart parking has been introduced for the City of Adelaide to help our customers to locate parking bays within the city. So the um, technology will also allow them to um, use an app so that they can have guidance to those parking bays. Uh, it will allow them to see what the parking control is at that time. Um, so where they're parking, the specific um, restriction at the time that they park there. It will also allow them to make payment for the parking space that they're, they're occupying. Uh, it will give a reminder notice, so 15 minutes before the time's due to expire. It will remind the customer, to hope, so hopefully they won't go over that period of time. Um, and it will also offer the opportunity to remotely top up to the maximum time limit. So if they can do, the, um, if they want to, if they haven't paid for the full time limit, they can actually remotely top up to that with payment through there. The mobile app would allow motorists to locate available parking spaces in real time and give voice directions on how to get to them. This mechanism would aim to promote an ideal occupancy level of 80 to 85%. The council plans to replace the majority of the city's 2,800 ticketed on-street car parks with smart parking technology by the middle of the year, and eventually all of them.